What flower is this, please? The flower is a pelargonium, commonly known as geranium. So today I'm going to show you how to use Google Gemini, a free app for plant identification. So we need to download Google Gemini from the Google Store. I've done this already. If we can't find it, then you need to go into the settings and find location. So we go into location, turn off our location, then go back to the App Store. And then type in Gemini and then you will find it ready to download. So now we've opened our app and we can use it for our plant identification. So we can do it in several ways. We can take a photo attach. We can ask it, please identify this plant. And then press go. It's having a think. And there we go. So we can use this for different kind of plants identification and we even look on our app and we can download pictures so we find a picture so I've got this one attach what what is this plan This plant is the image of a pansy. So that's all very good. So we can get a bit more technical by saying Attach. How do you care for begonias? And then not thinking about it. And then certainly the beautiful red flower in your image is indeed begonia. And here you can care for your begonias. And it gives a description. They prefer bright light, avoid direct sunlight, it can scorch the delicate leaves. Indoors, outdoors, watering. And it gives the temperatures. So that's very clever. And this is all free in your phone. So let's go a bit further and say How do you grow How do you grow petunias? And there we go. Thinking about it. How do you grow petunias?
show me a video of how to grow petunias from seed. And here are some videos to grow petunias from seed. And gardening for beginners. How to grow petunias from seed. There we go. These videos will show you everything you need to know about growing petunias from seed. So it's a great little app to get you going. So if you're walking around wanting to know some identification of plants, this works well. So I've got this bud growing. We want to know what it is. So let's have a go. Take a photo. Attach. What is this bud? And although it says spud, just thinking about it, I'm unable to identify the spud. I'm referring to the green bud-like structure in the centre. It appears to be an unopened bud. <laughs> yeah. So I'll try again. We can type it in if the voice is not referring to you. So let's try again. Right, here's our bud. Attach. What is this flower? Go. So we're going to take a photo. Attach. What is this flower? Go. The flower bud in the image looks like it could be from a passion flower. Passiflora. Well, that is correct. And here we can see. One of the passion flowers has come out, which is looking good. So we can even use it for help. So I'm going to attach this photo of my plant being eaten. What has been eating this leaf? What has been, has been eating the leaf? That's not quite right. Let's try again. What has been eating this leaf? There we go. Having a think. Based on the image, the damage to the leaf appears to be caused by insects. The holes in the leaf are likely to be a result of chewing by caterpillars or beetles. Less likely, but it is possible other insects with chewing mouthparts such as grasshoppers or earwigs. To confirm the culprit, you could look for other signs of insect activity such as droppings, caterpillars, webbing, some caterpillars create webs for insects themselves. And once you've identified the pest, you can take steps to control it. So we can also ask Google Gemini questions about how to deal with plants and deal with problems. So that's really good. So it's a good bit of fun. 
Why is this leaf brown? And we can go around the garden, checking your plants, checking what they are. And the leaf in the image appears to be browning due to several possible factors. Overwatering, underwatering, or fungal bacterial disease. So there we go. Have you used Google Gemini? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to have fun just walking around the garden, snapping my plants. How to deadhead geraniums. And we can also look on our video how to do this.